All right, everyone, welcome back. So this is going to be another update on phase two of my layout, uh, phase two expansion. And I have all the, um, I actually cut this piece here, this piece of plywood, and I cut all the homosote or soundboard, and it's all ready to go um, for installation. The only thing I have to do now is paint it. Now, some of my friends that use this, some of them paint it, some of them don't. It all depends on uh, your preference, but I like to paint it. Because Homoso, let me show you this piece here. Homoso is basically compressed paper, okay? And if, it, if you introduce moisture to it, it will swell up. But uh, I've never had a problem with it uh, because I do paint it, as you can see here. Um, if you're ever wondering, that's the part number. If you ever go to Home Depot. All right. So um, with this piece, with this expansion, what, what's nice is once I get this screwed down, it's at the same level as the other piece. Now and then with uh, soundboard or home so you get a um, different, or different uh, thickness variation from time to time. And um, this time I didn't, so which was good. Um, so again, what I have to do now is paint both sides and I also paint the edges. Okay, and I seal everything up. Uh, once I do that, I'll secure it to the plywood. And at that point, we're going to be ready to uh, install track. So um, I know that uh, everything seems very flat here. Um, but the area that I'm modeling in New Haven was flat. It was an industrial area. So other than maybe some bridges and things like that, some overhead bridges, uh, the, the area that I'm modeling is pretty much flat. All right. So um, I will give another update or another installment to this update, rather. And uh, hopefully by Saturday, I'll have uh, all the track work done. So, pretty excited that this section is almost complete, and I'll be ready to lay some track in here. So, um, stay tuned for the next installment. All right, welcome back. So, the homosote is painted on both sides, along the edges, and... As you can see, it's secured. So the next step is to start adding track. So once I get all the track installed, we'll come back and I'll show you what uh, this section is going to consist of. See you in a bit. All right, everybody, welcome back to the layout. So it is Sunday, May 17th. It's around 11.30 p.m. And I'm happy to say that uh, phase two is complete. All right, so this is going to be the final installment of phase two, and we're going to go over uh, what I did. So just to start, at the last video, a friend of mine asked me a question, so I'm going to address that question. All right, so let's go over what this layout started as. And when I started this layout, this area was going to be just staging. And because this area, layout evolved over time staging became a couple industries this uh building here appeared um and then i decided to add this building so i started adding industries and the original intent was that these industries were going to be abandoned and i can use the tracks as, as storage so that changed when i started expanding the layout even more and a friend of mine sent me a map so let's go over the map and then I'll explain the rest of this. Now, this in essence is my layout. This is the manufacturer's railroad. If you notice off to the left here, you have four lines. That's the main line that exists today in New Haven. So the manufacturer's railroad uh, has been around for a long time. Started in the 1800s and 
it was electrified and in 1947 the electric the, the uh, catenary came down and they started using diesels but this whole area if you look at it you have the bell dock branch which i'm modeling manufacturers of railroad which i'm modeling and you had a lot of um yards and docks and there was tons and tons of tracks down here a lot of the stuff was street running there's tons of industries in the area and it was just a really cool area um, that caught my interest and it was a good friend of mine that suggested i do this so i do appreciate that and a friend of mine gave me this map so this actually has been helping me a lot with the development of this layout so when you look at this area, the manufacturers in the Bell Dock, this is on the other side of this divider. But this section here, this section here is going to be concentrated in this section right here. So if you look at here on the off the main, you have one, two, and three. It's like a little mini yard. That's going to represent, sorry, with the picture, that's going to represent my staging. So when you look at this area here, you have one, two, and three tracks. So the middle track is going to be inbound track. The inner track is going to be an outbound track. And this is going to be a multi-purpose track. So we can use it as an inbound or an outbound. The only thing with this track is if you're going to make it an inbound, the train has to be shoved in. This is designated as an inbound because I have a way for the engine to come off the train and run around the train. All right. So the original intent was this was going to be an abandoned uh, building. And I'll be able to use the tracks as storage. And then the original intent over here was this was going to be an abandoned factory. And I was going to use this track as a place to service engines. Well, that changed. So I added this. And if you look over here, you have a couple tracks here, and it comes off over here, and then it goes back. And it's pretty, um, pretty interesting the way the track work was. Now, if you notice, it says you can put 24 cars in there. Well, you can put 24 cars here. So I try to keep it as, as prototypical as possible. Uh, it's not 100%, um, not even close 100%, but it definitely... Uh, is inspired by the by the uh, manufacturer's railroad. So what I did is let's start off over here. Now keep in mind that this layout is a point to point layout for now. This section will always be point to point. Um, this is going to be the originating yard, and then I have Bell Dock Yard on the other side of the layout as destination yard. So let's start off with what I did. I put a Y switch in here. Now, I, I originally had a cardboard template of this area that I made for the size. And the, since I made that, I put the, uh, the actual tracks on the cardboard template and I mapped it out to exactly what I wanted. I built this section and then I changed it. So unfortunately, that's the way it goes sometimes. But I'm really excited about the way, the way this came out. So we have a Y switch here. This track here will lead to phase three. Phase three is not going to come till next year, hopefully. But uh, right now, this track will be used for switching purposes. And even when phase three comes, it still will be used for switching purposes. This is primarily used for the engine facility. And I put one industry here. So the industry that's going to be sitting here is going to be a scrapyard. It's going to be a good sized scrapyard. So I'll be able to hold uh, two 40 foot uh, gondolas. I can hold two 50 foot gondolas or I can hold one of each, which is depicted here. Over here, we have our engine facility. Now this cardboard template represents the FOSS scale models. Uh, uh, Caldwell Junction engine engine facility, which is a one bay engine facility, one stall engine facility. So the track over here is going to represent a storage track for cabooses or engines. 
I can fit three cabooses on there if I wanted to. Over here is going to be a service track where I can fuel and sand the locomotives. I can fit an S1 here and a 44 tonner over here, no problem. All right, so coming back over here. Now, since I added this industry, which is the scrapyard, I'm going to activate this building and this building. It's going to add a whole new level of switching just in this area alone. So that's what I'm really excited about. Um, it's definitely going to be challenging to switch out, especially this building, because you got to pull all these cars out of here first to switch that. So it's definitely going to be uh, a challenge. Adding these three industries brings my total industries on this layout to 16. So there's 16 industries in this layout that'll have to be switched out. Some take two cars, some take one car, some take multiple cars. So it all depends. But I am really excited about the way this came out. So the next step is to wire this layout. So the next uh, video update you'll see is um, all these tracks being wired. And I'm hoping to have trains running really soon. So we can start doing some uh, op sessions and starting to see how everything works. So since this is the first scene that you'll see when you walk into my train room, this is going to be the first scene that's going to be scenic. But I want to make sure that all the uh, track is, is wired properly and everything works without any issues. So um, that's pretty much it on this layout update. Uh, I'm really appreciative of my friends who helped me with this. Uh, especially providing the maps and the inspiration for this whole layout. So looking forward to uh, running this really soon. So thanks for watching and I will see you at the next layout update.